most unlikely bartender in the state of Minnesota. Well, I pour, pour beer, have fun. Is a 76-year-old Pakistani immigrant. If my father found out, he would kill me. Whose pride bubbles up like the glasses he's filling. These are good beers. They're, they're tasty. Nick Ansari can't quite be called. Move on, people. The father of Minnesota's fastest growing brewery. A little closer. But he is most certainly dad <laughs> to its founder. The man behind Surly. So this is my dad. <laughs> Nick's son Omar is the owner and president of the Surly Brewery in Brooklyn Center. This is where we make the beer. The three-year-old craft brewery whose tours are full weeks in advance, whose labels scream attitude. Do you like it? Should I get it? <laughs> and whose growing legion of fans. I love Surly beer. Order on cult life. It's real good. In their loyalty. I tried to get on the tour a bunch of times. I couldn't get it. So I told him, I got one. We're going no matter what's going on. His mom came into town. I was like, we're still going. <laughs> but this seemingly overnight success story. Here are some of the wedding pictures. Has a backstory, 50 years in the making. We are immigrants. I came from Pakistan and she came from Germany. Nick and Dorit Ansari married in Chicago, then moved to the Twin Cities to work at. These are our products. And ultimately buy an abrasives company making industrial grinding wheels. That was in this plant right here. By the 1990s, Omar had his economics degree from McAllister College and was heir apparent to the family business, struggling as it was. I always begged for business, see, and people shooed me away. He knew that. Nick knew his son's heart wasn't in abrasives. I'd go to these trade shows, I'd meet people, I'd go to these meetings, and I just tried, but I wasn't very good at it. Then Omar, who dabbled in home brewing, asked his parents if he could set up a small brewery on one end of the factory. And we said, go for it. He said, congratulations, welcome to the club, and he shook my hand. And he understood that to make a small business run, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. The name Surly was chosen to represent the way one feels when he can't find a good beer. Fit my personality. Todd Haug signed on as head brewer. Then against all odds, Surly took off. Sold our first keg February of 06 to Cafe 28 in Linden Hills. And we started canning in October of 06. And since then, we haven't been able to make enough beer. Distributed in parts of Minnesota, western Wisconsin, Sioux Falls, and Chicago, Surly now has a two-year waiting list of liquor stores waiting for its cans. Surly produced 1,600 kegs of beer its first year. This year, it expects to brew 16,000. This is where we keep the beer. The grinding wheel equipment was all sold two years ago. The brewery now occupies the entire factory. Then cut out the joist. And the latest expansion will bring additional brewing tanks too big for the door. I haven't cut the roof off. Through a hole in the ceiling. I begged for business all my life, and now all the people are begging Uma for his beer. Now, that is something which is beautiful. Awesome. In a nod to his parents, Omar named his latest surly variety 16 grit after a popular grinding wheel size. I just had some 16 grit. It is ah, fabulous. Excellent. Yes. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And in a nod to his son. You know, can hat. Nick and Sari has become the biggest surly cheerleader of them all. I read in the Wall Street Journal yesterday that people are drinking cheaper beer. Boo. They couldn't. You couldn't tell that by all the people I see over here. Well, let's not forget that's free beer they're all drinking tonight. <laughs> Omar has always thought of this as the family business take two. Kind of a, it is, it's all the same thing, but we just changed what we were selling. Yes. So as Omar right. continues to deal with the excitement and challenges of rapid expansion. See, you're on a camera over there. <laughs> Nick gets to come along for the ride. He's got no shame. <laughs> People come and shake my hand because I'm Omar's dad. No, why wouldn't I be proud of that? With all due respect to grinding wheel customers. Come over here. Beer drinkers. <laughs> Show a lot more love. You had fun? I had a great time. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Brooklyn Center. <laughs> That's what I think.